Welcome back to my garage. My neighbor just started his uh, his lawn trimmer thing. Hooray! I'm hoping you can hear me fine anyways. Since last time I've built this uh, temporary test bench. I've got some uh, gauges hooked up here. Boost, EGT, CHT. I've got a big coolant reservoir with a big bilge pump which does the cooling. Fuel tank and a valve. I think it's time. With how this is designed, there's a possibility for it exploding. I've got the fire extinguisher ready. I've got the welding jacket for uh, covering anything that's burning. And I've got the garden hose set on shower for myself if I'm on fire. And I'm gonna wear my helmet. And I'm alone here, so I'm sending an SMS to a friend saying SMS in 15 minutes or call an ambulance. I highly encourage you to go watch the earlier videos in this series to get a better understanding of what's going on here. The blown 50cc rotary exhaust valve prototype running on uh, methanol and nitromethane, RC fuel for the moment. Go watch those other videos to get more information. Time has come to try and start it for the first time. Might go, might go great, might not go so great. My goal now today is just starting it and see how it behaves. I've set the timing, it should be around 15 degrees flat line. That's probably not totally correct and we might hook the computer up and try to time it. But for now just starting it and see if it runs and how it behaves. If it doesn't explode. There's no spark, but I'm fairly confident I've labeled this switch wrong. It's on and off, and the switch itself says oh, the same direction, but this is the kill switch. So off is on, if you, yeah, you know. Now we should have spark. It starts. There's a lot of leaks here though from uh, 
from the reed valves and uh, and this dump valve which is working pretty hard it seems to get the excessive mixture out of there there's a lot of thrust here from the exhaust that's kind of funny from a 50 cc two-stroke but leaks might be the the nylon 3d prints don't clamp hard enough on stuff i'll uh i'll torque down all the bolts and uh we'll give it another test fire i haven't used any sealer between the exhaust valve cover and the cylinder so there's a leak there but uh just a lot of leaks but hey it runs it starts and runs and acts weird compared to all other two strokes I've ever encountered. Okay, let's torque down the bolts and give it another try. My ears hurt a lot too, so uh, I think I'll replace the helmet with some uh, with some air protection and a face shield. I might give annealing the carbon fiber nylon parts a try because it might be creep. They're creeping, so they're tight now, but. After a few days, they're not tight anymore, because the material is creeping. It is running, there's a lot of unburnt fuel here because it's not up to temperature and there's a lot of leaks, a lot of leaks. Seems like all these, uh, these nylon parts, they're leaking. Probably not clamping, there's not enough clamping pressure there. So I might have to redo those in uh, these parts in aluminium or find a way to have them clamp harder, anneal them maybe, to make them more tough. A success though, completely home built, completely like a prototype, my design, cool. It's time to tear it down and uh, remake the parts that, uh, that don't work or find a way to make, to have things seal because uh, with how it is now it's not sealing very well at all. It's impossible for you to read the gauges here, but I'm seeing about 0.6 bars of, uh, of uh, boost just from this testing. That's kind of funny. And, uh, you might need a bigger plenum. It certainly seems like the dump valve is working, uh, working here. I'm looking forward to seeing the footage and seeing how much is coming out of this exhaust pipe versus the actual exhaust pipe. I'm also looking forward to getting some heat in there and having this stuff ignited on the way out. <laughs> okay, see you next time.